Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, what if I told you there is a way to change the font in Power BI Desktop to whatever you want? We're gonna take a look at that right now. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, fonts. This actually came up uh, with a customer discussion that I was talking with them and one of the things they wanted to do is to add in a font that they have and use it inside a Power BI desktop. From an enterprise customer perspective, you may have a corporate theme that may have a custom font and you wanna use that inside a Power BI desktop. However, when you go inside a Power BI desktop, uh, wait a second, enough of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop and take a look. All right, inside a Power BI desktop, when I go over to, let's just say a table, and I come into the paintbrush, come down to values, and if I come down to font family, and I select the box, there's a limited number of fonts that I can choose from. From a guy in a cube perspective, the font family that I wanna use is the Leto font family, but Leto is not in this list. It goes from Georgia to Lucidia Sands. So what do we do? Enter in theme files. So your theme file, you can actually specify a font that you want to use inside of Power BI. So in this case, let's go over to my theme file. The theme file that we're currently using in this file is this one here. And we can see that it is using Segway UI. Segway UI is in the font list from Power BI desktop perspective. So that should work just fine. So let me change this over to Lado and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna do file save as so that I have a different one available for me. All right, that's my Lato one. I'm gonna come over to Power BI Desktop. I'm gonna go over to View and our themes here, I'm gonna choose the drop down and then go to Browse for Themes. If you, I'm using the new ribbon look, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now. This may look different for you where you have like a select theme or something on the ribbon bar. If you haven't enabled the preview feature for the new ribbon, as of the recording of this video, it'll look a little different. So just know that I've enabled that preview feature and that's what you're seeing on the screen. All right, so let's go to browse for themes and we'll go to desktop demo and then Lado. All right, and you'll see that it does look like a change. It's a little hard to decipher. So let's go a little extreme so that we can really tell if this worked. So I want to. I have a Word document here with just some fake text inside of it. Let me just go pick a font that will absolutely stand out. So in this case, let's do Algerian. All right, Oop. got to select all, that would help. We'll do Algerian. That's gonna stand out, right? All right, so that looks good. Let's go back to our theme file and put in Algerian. All right, we're gonna do save as again. Algerian, save. Now let's go back to Power BI Desktop and we'll change to this new theme file. Go browse for themes and we'll choose Algerian. Bam, look at that. I'm actually using a font that is not included inside of Power BI Desktop, but it is working inside of the report itself. Now, some of you are gonna be asking, oh yeah, that's great, but what, this is just in Power BI Desktop on my machine. Let's go ahead and publish this to the service. Let's go back to home. We'll go to publish and I'll put it in my demo workspace. All right, now let's go ahead and open it up in Power BI and bam, it's a, it works in the service as well. Couple of caveats. First off, the font has to be installed on each machine that's gonna be viewing it. So in the case that it, you see it working in the service as well as Power BI Desktop, that's because the font is available locally on my machine. If you have a custom font that is not really shipped with Windows, or maybe they're on a machine like a Mac or something like that, you may not see this custom font. Mobile apps also, you're probably not gonna see the font used there. So just be aware of that. It should default back to the base font from a Power BI perspective. The second caveat with this is this is not necessarily supported, right? So this is not something that was necessarily intended with Power BI. If custom font support is actually something that you want to have available, be sure to go to ideas.powerbi.com and let your voice be heard. So if you do go down this road, just know if there's an issue with something that you're not gonna get support for it from Microsoft itself. 
However, it should work on from a Windows perspective especially, but it should also work on cross-platform as long as that font is in place on all of the machines. So you may have to distribute it from an enterprise perspective. If you're sharing it with someone external, as long as if they have the font, it'll show up. All right, so you saw me modifying the theme file. Let me just give you a quick tip on how you can go do this quickly as well. If you go to powerbi.tips, these guys have an awesome tool to help you generate theme files. One thing I noticed is they have a new one available. Uh, if I go to the new one, you know, I can do my color palette and when I go to properties, I can choose it for visuals, but I can't, I don't necessarily see a way to add it to everything. Whereas if you go back to the old version, if you go to tools and themes with JSON, this is the old version that they had. This one actually allowed you to do a global uh, setting for all visuals, which let you set that font family. So there you can go ahead and do this. Although one thing of note is the font family that they have here match what's in the Power BI desktop. So the best thing to do is create this theme file with this tool, just pick a font, Arial or whatever, and then get that JSON file local, and then you can go and update the JSON file like I did with the actual font family that you wanna use. So it's a little bit of a, there's, there's some steps that you gotta go do uh, to get this to work, but it's something that may be available for you. Also down in the description below, I'll have a link to the theme files that I used in this video, so you can go grab that as well and muck around with it as you see fit. All right, I wanna hand this off to you. What do you guys think? Is this did that blow your mind? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. I do know, like I said, there are some caveats to this, so let me know how that may affect you as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.